हाउ यू कैन गेट हेयर कट फॉर फ्री हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गेट हेयर कट यू नो दैट माई हेयर इज ग्रोइंग अ लॉट एंड आई एम फीलिंग अनकम्फर्टेबल नाउ विद दैम सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट हेयर कट आई हैव बुक थ्रू एन ऐप थ्रू विच यू कैन गेट हेयर कट फॉर फ्री सो हाउ यू कैन गेट हेयर कट फॉर फ्री इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन अ बेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द एप वेल बिफोर एवरी थिंग लेट मी शो यू द वेदर आउट साइड एज यू नो द वेदर इज वेरी गुड टूडे हाउ वुड यू नो ओनली आई नो see it's a uh, feel is good and there you can see the pink flowers are blooming so today you will get to see japan's salon if they allow me to film of course because chances are that japanese people are shy so they might say can you please turn off the camera let's see if they allow you will get to see how japanese salons not japanese salon japan salons are i can't take the name of the app in this video because i don't think it's allowed for me to do let me go on the way and then i'll tell you why they are giving me free haircut well that place is around 1.2 kilometers from here means around 17 minutes the map is showing so let me go there and then i'll show you how the salon looks like and during our way to that salon i'll tell you why that app is giving me fair free haircut okay so i'm ready and now let's go well today i am going to wear kusan's shoes because my shoes are dirty because of holy so why these people are giving free haircuts because they have people who are coming to their salon to learn how to do haircut okay they they are barbers first let me show you the train traveling from there so these people tell to salon owners that we are going to do haircut for your customers for free through this way people will get free haircut and we will also get to learn how to do haircut on a real person so this is how this deal works so that's why i'm going now so you see this is the station area as you can see from here so that's uh, the station minami nagarayama and right in front of it we have this place where we are going to have haircut so let's go <coughs> i think i went in the wrong direction station is there to go there and then take a right so let's go there so this is sukuba express as i have told you already i think Okay and this is JR means Japan Railways. So this one is fast and expensive. This one is cheap and a little slow, not very slow. Little slow. So you can see JR Higashi Nihon. Okay. So we have to go this way. Let me check the map. Okay, go straight and then right. I am on my bicycle right now as you already know that I drive I ride bicycle. So from here I have to take a right turn. This is a good view. So I thought of uh, I thought of showing it to you. <laughs> I thought of no, I thought of. <laughs> okay. I think so. はい。
かあーはい。So this is the salon where I went to and this is my bicycle standing. Now I am going back to my home. Okay guys, so I am back to the room and this is how my haircut looks like. She cut it like this. You can see from here. This is how she cut my hair. And as you know, Japanese people are very gentle while giving services and while talking to you. So even though I booked the appointment and the haircut was free, 
she was very gentle first of all she was learning so person who has a learning attitude will always be gentle you will always find that person gentle because if we show attitude nobody is going to teach us anything so always be gentle in your behavior unless the other person is starting something point number two that the person who was teaching her how to cut my hair was also very gentle he was a pro in haircut but he was teaching her very kindly and he was observing every move of her how she was cutting this side how she was cutting this side how you have to take my hair and cut he was observing everything very carefully so what we need to learn from this thing is that when you are teaching someone something you have to be very observant so that the person who is learning something learns properly seeing how he was teaching her I suddenly recalled the time when I was in India and my senior gave me some work without telling me properly how to do that work and when I saw that pro barber teaching that girl properly I was uh, impressed next thing that I noticed was that even if the service the haircut was free the service was given properly as if I was paying some amount to them so customer is the king for Japanese people when she completed my haircut she went and she brought my jacket and she made me wear that uh, for example this is the jacket right so so she brought this jacket to me and and she said okay you can put your hands like that so they were very kind so this is also one of the things that we can learn from them that even if we are giving some service for free as a business we have to be very kind we have to serve the customer as if the customer is paying for it because when you change that service from free to paid then also the customer will think or oh, when it was free that business served me very well so even if now it is paid i will go to that that business only well, i also want you to let me know in the comment section how my haircut is looking like for example out of 10 is there any number that you would like to give seven five one two zero whatever but do consider that the girl was a shoshinsha like she was a beginner in haircut and now finally let's talk about the price so the price of the haircut was 13500 yen and you if you convert it into INR it will be around 7425 INR means 7425 INR so there was 50% off offer going on due to which the price of haircut was 6600 yen and in INR if you convert it you can divide it by two like uh, it will be around 3700 3800 INR so this much expensive the haircut was but the treatment was tremendous when I reached there, they washed my hair. After washing my hair, they did my haircut and again they took me to wash my hair. So amazing treatment. If you are in Japan, I would definitely recommend you to go there and have the haircut. The details of which I'll keep in the description. That's all for today. Thank you for being with me. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care and have fun.